Hi, my name is Justin Seibert and I'm going on the world race. I'd like to just give a little insight on where I'm at spiritually, emotionally, financially in regards to this trip. So let's start off with spiritually and emotionally because that kind of dictates how my financial status is going to be. Spiritually and emotionally, I feel like I've been kind of riding a wave of feeling like I'm super high up and then just kind of feeling low and not really knowing how to feel. Committing to this trip, I feel like has at some times actually disconnected me from God a little bit. And I believe that that is the enemy just trying to keep me down from doing what Christ wants me to do. I've felt pretty strong at some points and I've felt pretty low and bad. I feel like this season of my life is a season of coming into adulthood and becoming a man as well. So there are things in my life that I have to overcome. There are things that I have to do that I may not want to. There are things that I'm going to be scared of that I'm going to have to do anyways. One of those things is going to be moving out, moving away from friends and family, and fully trusting in God to provide for me and to sustain me. So overall, emotionally and spiritually, I'm kind of in a stagnant place where I feel like I haven't been met with those pivotal points where I have to fully trust or uh, back off of something. So let's talk finances now. My fundraising goal of $5,000, which is one of three goals. My next goal is another $5,000 to make it $10,000. And my final goal, which I need to meet uh, no later than January of next year, is $16,600. My $5,000 donation deadline was a couple of days ago, and currently I am at $3,600 out of $5,000. I have a small grace period that I'm currently in where I have the ability to ride out these next couple of days and see if I can make that money, but I also have another option, which is me using personal savings money. I feel like a lot of things that are going on during this trip are my fault for the way they're going. That's in regards to the $5,000. I know I could have hit it by the deadline and I know I wouldn't even need to be thinking about these other options if I was working on fundraising more. Going out of my comfort zone, asking people for support, and that is something that I have slacked on and that is something that's extremely important for this. I think it's very easy for someone to forget God when they are stuck trying to do these big things, and I feel like sometimes I have done that. I keep putting myself in these situations where I have the opportunity to let God do the work, and all I have to do is make a couple of steps out of my comfort zone, but I don't do that, and so now I'm kind of in this position where I am kind of twisting my own arm in a sense to have to use my own money that I've been saving for, you know, maybe when I come back or something like that. This is not the fault of anyone except myself. I have had many people donate to me and I have not said thank you to a lot of people. I'm still growing and I still have this young boy living inside of me that wants to do things the easy way that wants to get things quick and easy, that doesn't want to do things that are hard or take time or require me to step out of my comfort zone. And on the other hand, I have something that I'm trying to develop, which is a man inside of myself who wants to take the time, who wants to put in the hard work, who wants to step out of his comfort zone and will do those things that are hard. But I feel like I'm in that transition period. So a lot of things that are going on, I'm not doing the correct way. So let's talk numbers. I'm at $3,600 out of $5,000 for my first goal. Over the past couple months that I worked my two jobs, I saved, and I'm going to be extremely transparent in this video. I just want everything to be laid out on the table. I don't have anything to hide. I don't personally mind sharing my financial situation. Over the months that I worked my two jobs and where I'm at now, I have saved a grand total of $5,000 even. Meanwhile, I have the 5000 in my savings. I am currently still working one job and making maybe around 
three to five hundred dollars every two weeks. With my failure to fundraise as I should be doing, I'm in a position where I can take that money that I've been saving all these months and put that towards the trip. And that wouldn't be an issue if I had spent time asking God to uh, let me know if this is something he wants me to do. And I asked him and I believe that he is telling me that he doesn't want me to use that 5,000. I think he wants me to re let that remain untouched. But I've kind of put myself in a position where I kind of have to use it now. Again, no one's fault but my own. So I've got this paper here. Um, it's my fundraising action plan. It actually just got torn when I pulled it out of my backpack. But this is a plan for how to hit 5,000 by July 2nd. But even now that I'm reading it, it says I have to submit it by tomorrow or quote, I will not be launching with the World Race Gap Year, September 2019. So this is kind of where I'm at. I've bent my own arm into a situation where I'm going to have to use my money. I'm going to put $1,400 of my own saved money into this trip to start off. Now with me being the person I am, I'm going to probably, once I do this, be all excited and say, all right, this time it's gonna go better. I'm gonna get the money. I'm not gonna have to touch my savings at all. Problem with that, is that I've done this before. I, when I first started, was saying, man, I'm not gonna let this 5,000 get touched at all. And I've kind of failed with that. Don't take my somewhat somber attitude as me being sad. I'm doing great. This is just kind of me just talking and trying to be relaxed. But at the end of the day, I'm just going through some things that are just gonna be hard. And that's just a fact of life. And that's not a bad thing. It's going to make me a better person overall. At the end of the day, these aren't bad things. These are all learning experiences. And as long as I take something from this and make something good out of it, that's a win. I'm in a good place, but I'm just going through some things that are going to be difficult and that is okay. This video is mostly just for myself to be able to just talk and eventually review kind of where I was at in life. So thank you. I love you. And I'll talk to you soon.